This is the third in our series of videos on the uh, nine personality styles of the Enneagram model of personality. We're going to talk about Enneagram style three, which we call striving to feel outstanding. Threes interact with the world by striving to feel outstanding. They are people who are focused on accomplishment, achievement, and being the best at whatever it is they undertake. They place high value on productivity and uh, being successful and accomplished. Uh, be, like, to be winners in whatever they do. When they overdo that strategy, they can focus too much on the way they're perceived rather than the substance of what they're actually doing. They have to be careful about that. Uh, when they're stressed, they might fear that if they're not working hard enough, they'll be seen as average or mediocre or not valued within the group. The chief asset that the three has is achievement because they push themselves so hard and they work so hard, they do tend to be uh, very accomplished people. Uh, they have a unique capacity for self-actualization and being successful in whatever it is that they undertake. Okay? Um, certain things that they like and dislike in other people. Uh, for example, they like prestige and success in other people. They like people who work hard. They like people who are efficient and accomplished. But they dislike people who represent failure, who are too emotional, who uh, are uh, not business focused enough, okay, or who are indifferent to their accomplishments and their achievements. Frustrating others by uh, very often by uh, focusing too much on success, being a little too self-centered, promoting themselves a little bit too much, and promoting their accomplishments a little too much. The approach they have to problem solving is let's just concentrate on getting this done. Very often threes can uh, overlook some of the uh, things that make more successful leaders such as developing people, such as uh, working together with a team and they try to focus too much on the task. And belief about work is things are, go best when I'm given a chance to shine. If they're an athlete, they're the one who always wants the ball. If they're uh, in, in work, they're the ones who want responsibility for something so they can get it done. Other people see threes as um, ambitious, successful, goal-oriented, uh, focused, competitive, uh, but they can also see them sometimes as being a little bit too much focused on their own agendas, too egotistical perhaps, uh, or even uh, in some ways a little deceptive because they're not quite sure what the three's true goal is. Threes get into trouble when they tell themselves, my value is based on what I accomplish. So that uh, this means that they're often too focused on the way they're perceived by other people in order to make sure they have that sense of value. The three has a distinct leadership style. We call it the pace setter. Uh, the style of the three is very often to say, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to do a good job. Other people can observe me and know what to do. Um, when this is good, it sets high goals. It pushes and motivates people. It inspires people. The downside to this personality style is that very often other people don't have the, the drive and the, the capacity that threes have and so that they, they can't keep up with the three. Okay. Threes tend to shine in the spotlight. They, they do their best when people are seeing them, when people recognize their accomplishments, when they have an opportunity to be noticed. Okay. Communication style with the three is very distinct. Uh, it tends to mix a focus on business with a uh, sort of a very deliberate interactiveness. Okay, so the threes, what I mean by this is threes are really good at connecting to people and then moving right to business. Okay, so when you're interacting with a three, take a moment to make that personal connection, but then be prepared to get down to business very quickly. They like conversation to be positive. They like it to focus on what can be done rather than on what's negative or what can't be done. And finally, they avoid conflict very often when possible. It's not that they're afraid of conflict or they uh, don't feel like they can handle it. It's just that they don't see it as an efficient way to interact with other people. So they tend to avoid people who draw them into conflict and just focus on the task. So if you are a type three, hopefully you've learned some things here about yourself that uh, you can use to be more effective when you interact with other people. Uh, or if you work with a three, hopefully this has given you a little bit of insight into how their minds work and how you can interact with them more effectively. For more information about threes or any of the other personality types, you can contact us at info at awareness or visit our website at awareness to